Have you ever played a video game where your FPS drops so low that the movement of your player teleports from location to location instead of a smooth movement? Well, it's probably because you're playing on a potato, but there's much more to this than meets the eye. And believe it or not, this is actually ideal. Let me elaborate. So this is very common in multi-threaded games where there is actually two loops, the game simulation loop and then the rendering loop. And let's say the game simulation loop is running at 60 Hertz or 60 FPS and the rendering is at 10 FPS. Well, per one frame in rendering, there will be six ticks done in the game simulation. And this is the leading cause of the choppiness and quote unquote teleportation effect that I call it uh, for low FPS. And so you might ask, so then to avoid this effect, let's just force the game simulation to like wait for the rendering loop. And this is a good idea, but this means that the game simulation will actually be very, very slow if the FPS becomes slow. And it's not really ideal for, let's say, if you're playing a fast racing game where your player is zooming and all of a sudden he just kind of visually slows down. The immersion of the game gets ruined because of this, and in a multiplayer setting, this kind of setup would add a lot of complexity as we'd have to sync slower game simulation loops with faster ones. And this is just not really ideal. So let me elaborate with an example. Let's say you and your friend are playing a race, and you guys are both playing on the Rockstar servers, meaning that both of you are sending responses and getting requests from this server. And for the purpose of this demonstration, let's say your friend is playing on a really fast computer, uh, and you are playing on the potato. Despite all this, you guys still need to send the same amount of packets and receive the same amount of packets in the same time interval from the server, so that the server can synchronize your gameplay, right? And so the issue here is on a slower PC, if we couple the simulation loop to the rendering, so it was in the single thread, the server's representation of your car will be very out of sync with what you, the client, are actually simulating right now. So we switch back to the alternative of decoupling our simulation loop from our actual rendering loop, you know, on separate threads, for example. And from here, our simulation thread can just take the server's response and maybe update or adjust it accordingly without really touching the rendering at this point in time. And then the rendering that's maybe running heavy uh, compute, like draw calls or whatever, is just taking the last uh, simulation step and then rendering that. And this brings us back to like the teleportation and the weird artifacts uh, that we see, but it's a trade-off that we have to make amongst many. All hope is not lost, as we can still use some techniques to clean this up a little bit, such as linear interpolation, also known as LERP, or spherical linear interpolation, also known as SLURP that help us kind of interpolate between very, very granular states so that the rendering is a bit smoother. So when I was switching my own game from single-threaded to multi-threaded, specifically moving the physics simulation on another thread, I would have an issue where when I had a lower FPS that the physics simulation was stepping too fast for the slow FPS and I would get jittering because um, my player would teleport just further and further in a very choppy way. So using linear interpolation, this was drastically reduced. Now, I implemented a simple function for LERP, but I didn't even try it with Slurp, as GLM, the OpenGL math library that I'm using, actually supports both of these functions, as well as for the actual physics simulation, I'm using a library called Bullet Physics, which has these um, features called motion states attached to all the rigid bodies. And these motion states actually do a good bit of interpolation under the hood for you. So instead of calling the X, Y, and Z positions of my car every tick or a uh, rendering tick, I just called the motion states um, transform, which had all the interpolation done for me so that the rendering was actually very smooth out of the box. This is my first devlog, so I really hope you enjoyed. Please give me some feedback on this if you want, and have a nice day.